I'm journaling about Green Gold. Oh, that exciting community sustainable garden project that you're involved. Absolutely. It's um, co-living and community garden estates. Yeah, I'm excited about it. So we have an opportunity to choose your neighbors where you're gonna plant crops and you can all share in the profits and the revenue and the food. So it's, it's really exciting. It's like a, a nature community. Um, everyone will be able to, you know, just share. So when you say co-living, it means everybody like lives in the same place or like live in the same little area or community? No, I'm thinking of a place where everyone has their own estate their own home, their own domicile, and together we have a community area where we gather for meals, we gather to grow crops, so you'll have individual crops on your lot, and then we'll have a community lot. Each individual family or person will be able to grow what they want, and then we'll have a community greenhouse, garden, or hydroponic. I guess the garden part of it could potentially be hydroponic. It could be more agriculturally or ag tech, which is like technology that's involved with agriculture. Ag tech is big. Ag tech is huge. I guess the reason is because we're not exactly sure the location of the, the land right now. So depending upon the soil quality, then we'll be able to determine what crops we're going to grow and how we'll grow them, albeit indoors or outdoors. So with ag tech, you know, we're talking about solar energy and wind and geothermal being kind of brought in to facilitate the energy fields around the crops. Is that the idea? Well, ag tech is different. That's more of the sustainable portion. So yes, it will be sustainable in that we'll have solar, wind, geothermal power sources. But the ag tech is agriculturally how you're going to grow the crops. like aquaponic, hydroponic, in a greenhouse, or just good old-fashioned in the ground. Oh, right, yeah. So it's just technology that's evolved to try to kind of maximize your crop yields depending upon what it is that you want to grow. But I like the idea because I feel like community is important. Sharing your resources, sharing with other people. We're, you know, humans are social people. It's so good for mental health. It's been proven that being around other people is is what we need as humans and being connected with nature at the same time so you're going to have nature and you're going to have other people and you can still distance yourself in the way that you have your own home <laughs> in your own place so not community living where everyone's in the same house and you share the kitchen but more where you're sharing an outdoor space and have an outdoor or like a community center um, so something like that and I'm building a tribe so, yeah. in addition to the farming, what, what sustainable uh, financing is uh, involved in Green Gold, or community like Green Gold, like agritourism, I know that that's spoken about. Yes, we did talk about that, where you would have people come and pay to learn from the individuals who are actually growing crops. So agritourism actually is big. Um, people can come from all around the world, um, local in the community or from across the, you know, across the globe and just learn about the different things that we're doing at Green Gold. And it's, you know, I think they'll learn because they could replicate it. It could be done anywhere. So not just where we want to do it, but anywhere around the world you can replicate these same ideas. Yeah, I've seen some of these communities and it's, again, it seems pretty exciting to, to visit, but um probably even more exciting to be a part of I think so. You know, the thing about it is it, when you have a community of people that are pooling their resources together, their energy, their collective energy, then you're going to have things that are going to grow. People that are like like-minded, that want to develop things together, that's important. We need to come together as a people. So that's what I'm excited about. I call it green gold because I think green in nature and I think gold because it's so miraculous and it has potential to be financially profitable, you know, physically profitable where people are healthy and there's wellness involved. So in all aspects of, of wealth, 
and health, you know, uh, I'm sorry, all aspects of, of wealth, you think of health and you think of, you know, material things, but then there's also social wealth where you have people that are, you know, supporting you. So that, that's what it's about. So it sounds like uh, green gold is uh, its own form of uh, new age currency. <laughs> yes, I, I, would, I could say that. I could, I could see that being true. And it's the tagline. Yes, absolutely. It's, the tagline is priming the well of wealth and wellness for all. So kind of like, yeah, priming the well. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt your journey today. But no, no biggie. When you write things down, they manifest. So I've been writing this down and I'm building a tribe, building a community of people who are interested. And everyone I've shared it with is, is like, where is this place? And I'm like, right now, it's in here, but soon, you know, like they say, you build it and you'll come. So. Be everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>